All right, here we go. A little more wingspan. That's a decent opponent. Mallard in the tray, Blackbird. Uh, Green Heron also good. And what do we have in our hand? We have the Wren. And I'm thinking... Uh, got some good bonus cards. Omnivore is nice. Excuse me. Let's see. We're definitely going to grab the Wren, of course. And then that's going to get us our Mallard into Heron, which is nice. So I think we're going to go Wren. We have some platform nests. Heron's got that covered nicely. I think it's just going to be a matter of card draws. <clears throat> Don't think we want to grab... The woodpecker. But it is a color bird. Green heron is a color bird. I feel like we want the omnivore though. Black bird is there for the omnivore. We're going to start here. We're going to keep that. Always keep a rat if you can. You never know when that raven's coming. And we'll go with omnivore, I think. Three omnivores to uh, to match the color birds max out. Let's do this. We will play our grain. Oh, we can't play our grain. We'll play our grub. And we'll grab mallard and heron. And then we'll be on our way. That heron down first. So that when we lay eggs, we have an egg. We have a <coughs> platform bird with some eggs in it. Feeling like this is a decent start. That Wren was definitely efficient to get these two nice cheap birds into our wetlands. And we're gonna have three birds down in four moves, four actions. My opponent, or they got rid of some cards that I probably would have been happy to get rid of as well. So they kept grain, grub, and fish. So Kind of in the same boat. Taking their sweet time to determine what they want to do on their first play, checking the tray. Decided to go for a migrator. That is interesting. We are fish or heron. And then we're going to lay some eggs. At the end of the day, the more cheap birds, the better to start with. I really have these, I sometimes have these notions of tallying up my games and each one, seeing how many, how many uh, birds I have at the end of the first round played versus my total score or versus the win rate. So, you know, I just kind of feel like the birds themselves do not necessarily make the game. You know, what their powers are can be important, but <clears throat> ultimately just getting some birds down, I feel like are really, it's really the name of the game. So our opponent got down a wetland bird and now just played Another bird in the grasslands. They're going to get some some eggs so that they can do draw, card draws. Now the question is, do we go for that blackbird? Our card draw is okay, but not phenomenal. Does play into our omnivore. So let's grab two. 
I'm also wondering if I feel like it's a little early for the cuckoo. It's not gonna be a ton of egg laying in the first round since three of your birds do not cost any eggs. Cuckoo would, however, meet our end of round goal as would the hawk. That hawk is really not great, and there's no uh, there is no rats, but we do have our green heron to change food types. So I'm wondering, maybe we grab the cuckoo, exchange our rat for a, yeah, it does meet the omnivore, which would be nice. House finch is good. We're gonna grab a second one here. Uh, that one is also good, man. We'll get the cuckoo. We're gonna we're gonna play the cuckoo. Well, mm, no, we're gonna try to get our. We're gonna change this guy for a. Uh, for cherry. Then we will grab a grub. <coughs> Play our sap sucker. Don't think we're going to be able to get down the cuckoo plus get the food. No. Nope. Opponent has zero food. Do they have anything? They've got nothing in their forest, but they'll be able to migrate there. So we'll see how things go. It'd be nice to get the cuckoo down I suppose eventually that finch will be going in our grasslands there we go that heron's gonna be an MVP let's just get our sap sucker down then we're going we are still going to need one grub uh, oh we need a bonus too which we don't have so no point in getting that cuckoo down until we get our house finch down. So that's interesting. Looks like our opponent took a single food. All right, we're going to have to lay eggs next round to get our, well, one point. No, wait, we're going to tie. Yeah. Unless he plays a second. No, he does not. Okay. So I think it's worth it to lay eggs to tie it up here. We're going to need those eggs sooner or later. Of course, it would have been nice to have the house finch down, have eggs to, you know, get the food for the house finch, play the house finch, have eggs, food, cards, cards to cycle when you get your eggs. But let's just tie this up here. He will get the tray reset. He is going for the blackbird. So, went in the wetlands. So that's going to be a little bit discouraging from him getting eggs. Cass and Sparrow, however, is up for grabs. Not sure if I'm going to go for that. He grabs it anyways. So, what will take its place? He's got some good cards. Not so sure the cuckoo is quite what we want, but we're going to do it since we've got the sap sucker. I'm thinking we get some food, grab more cards to exchange for a cherry. Uh, hmm. 
Throwing Owl is okay, but not great. Do have to remember my bonus card. So we will take we'll take these guys. We can't yeah, we're gonna have to let Marpon have the reroll, unfortunately. Maybe we I think we gained food twice. Since the reroll is available, we should grab it while the grabbing is good. But our opponent is going to need that food. So yeah, there it goes. But there's a cherry. So there's so if the cherry remains, there's food with one left over after playing my cuckoo and my finch. So that'll be nice. Cuckoo will help with this end of round goal. Every time he lays eggs, I'm going to get one egg on my finch. How's my opponent's food draw? He's only got one if, unless he discards it, but he does a, a, a bird card, but he does have five, so it seems likely. Left me with my cherry. So we're going to grab the cherry. And I would say a grain. No, the, the yeah, the grain for the for the finch. There we go. And then I think I know this doesn't do. We oh yeah, that would have worked actually. We'll do this. This really doesn't matter. We'll make it a grub, right? Yeah. So we're gonna have a grub left over, which I think is good since we've got some grub-eating birds here in the tray. Might go for that burrowing owl next, star nests. Good for the final end of round goal. It's just good to get um, the bird in your, in your grasslands, Scott. Uh, it's got good egg capacity, so we'll see what what we draw. The uh, ibis would be nice too. That uh, yellow-bellied sapsucker really helps with the grub requirement. But it's kind of a late game sort of thing. So do we start stocking up on late game cards? I think we might. I think we grab off the deck. Grab the burrowing owl, grab the ibis. My opponent currently has no eggs. They have three capacity. They've got the red winged blackbird and the brewer's blackbird, which is interesting. They're going to be tucking a lot of cards for eggs. I feel like we have many more cards. They have four. We have five. We're not that far ahead. We're about to get six. I think that Ren and the two cheap wetland cards really, really helped us. Kind of rocket us off. And now with the extra food from the sapsucker, life is good. Maybe we get the reroll. Let's grab cards first, just in case there's one we really want to discard. Opponent's going to get another reroll of the food. Not going to go for it. Ah, laying eggs. I forgot that white crown sparrow can live in the uh, grasslands there. Okay, so probably going to get the next end of round goal. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we can abandon that next end around goal, which is fine. Overall, I feel like we have a very strong position. That bird is going to be our cycler bird. So we'll grab these two guys. See what pops up. If something good pops up. Maybe we uh, Uh, those are good cards. We'll see if they if he lets us have them. Yep, he's going for food. So we'll take the Vireo and the Dove, and then we've got our we've got our Grasslands pretty much set. I feel like take one from the deck. Bluebird might be okay. Mm, we're gonna skip this guy this time. So what do we need? Do we need, we'll get a grain for our dove, so that'll be nice. This will help with our, with the third end of round goal for sure. <laughs> Sparrow. Punk gets the chickadee instead. Maybe I cycle. Maybe I lay some eggs. Grab the sparrow. It's not very effective. Efficient at this point. Let's see here. But all those eggs sure would be nice. We can do dove. Yep, I don't. I... Yeah, we can we can toss it. My opponent's not going to go for it, so let's not go for it either. Do we chuck a card here? We're going to get two grubs at least. Um, I'm thinking we get the bluebird has tons of egg space. Let's undo. We'll grab a grub and a grain for our morning dove. I don't think we get rid, well, Eastern Bluebird, I feel like. Not great. It's not an omnivore. We have, so far we only have one omnivore down. So not doing great on our bonus card. We're gonna get rid of the Eastern Bluebird. Grab another grub. Grab one from here. Okay. Now it's just going to be morning dove into burrowing owl. Nothing there that's amazing. Then maybe we just play our Vireo in the grasslands too and start laying eggs. Oh, these star nests will be great. And then cycling cards until something we like comes up. Although we could grab the food for the Ibis while we, before we go too much further. Once we have sufficient grasp on that uh, end of round goal. Yep. This is looking good. Opponent currently is up by quite a bit, but we are about to get our engine going and our opponent is not doing so hot in that department. Thank you, sir. Opponent does have a lot of eggs. A little too egg happy, perhaps. Opponent currently has one bull nest, I mean ground nest. We currently have two, so the question is, do we play that grebe for the end of round goal? I don't think so. I think that's going to be our cycling card. Not enough eggs. All righty then, let's get some eggs. Three food outside the tray. Doesn't pay off for us. 
by Grebe. We'll grab the Warbler just to deny it from our opponent. Cardinal. We like our Cardinals. Our opponent is going to have a lot of eggs. But kind of out of space almost. And we are just getting started. Look at our egg capacity. It's a bit disgusting. There's our fish. We could grab our fish. Yeah, we'll grab our fish and our grub so that we have the food we need for that. Ibis. And I think we're pretty much done with everything but it laying eggs and playing that Ibis. Get our Vireo down in the grasslands and go to town. Our bonus card is weak. But otherwise, we're good to go. So if we had gone colors, how would we have done? Uh, we would have gotten we would have gotten three points. If we Stuck to the same path we are on now. Opponent, Sandpiper in the wetlands. I'm not too worried about that. All right, it's egg. One round of egg laying, so we're not going to get this other end around or yeah, end around goal. Something good. Tuck powers. We and we know we have one of those. Cavity nests. We've got four of. Four is four points. I think we only have one tuck and bird. So the cavity nests will be good. Let's make sure I'm doing my math. One, two, three, four. Yep. Four points. All right. So we're going to get one set of three as opposed to our opponent. Well, so far he's only got one in the forest. I mean, in the wetlands. So you never know. Going to lay eggs and give us an egg. But that is definitely going to uh, win him that end of round goal. Put an egg there. Uh, I think we just lay our eggs now. We have a ton of egg space, which is nice. So we are going to get three. Not sure if that's enough. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's too late. Oh, I think we messed that up. We did mess that up. Could have gotten three. Would that have won us the end of round goal? Tied us? That would have tied us. That is a shame. I thought the Morning Dove could be placed anywhere. Well, if we lose by three points... That would be a crying shame. But I think that we're just going to have a great time getting tons of points here. Gives us a pine siskin for some. Oh, the sandpiper. His engine is nearly non existent, and we have a six point engine. Nothing there we care about. So how's our egg space? We got four, five, seven, eleven, fourteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-five. So that is five rounds if we just laid eggs. We will max out our capacity, but the Ibis will be seven points as opposed to our six point engine, so we will be playing that at some point for one more point. And we are going to be plus our cuckoo. 
Got to remember to leave space open in our uh, bull nests. So let's just do some of this action. Actually, just because we're OCD like that, let's reset. Only fill up our non bowl slash star nest to start. Hey, good job. Goodbye, Pine Siskin. Hello, Crow. I still can't tell in real life the difference between crows and ravens when I see them. They look very similar to me. I think there's something with their beak that maybe in the back of my mind kind of tips me off. And I don't feel like they ever flock together or anything, or maybe they don't even exist in the same habitats. So I could be wrong, but uh, I feel like you don't ever see them together. by Mr. Crow. Can certainly tell them apart in Wingspan. Spotted Toey. There's a lot of spotted Toeys around my apartment complex. Let's see here. My opponent is pretty full on eggs. He gets a three point turn with his Blackbird. One here. Yeah, he better have some good cards to play. He's got lots of food. He might be going for a nice double play. The game is not over. Swan is good. Uh, now he's got one fish left, so we are pretty much in the clear, I think. Swan does not have high egg capacity. So next up, we're going to play our Ibis, clear out a spot from our Morning Dove. Opponent now has very little. Let's see. Well, no, he can get it's a five point engine for him. <clears throat> Three eggs and the tuck. Oh, four points because I get my I get my cuckoo. So we're doing good here. We're gonna be well ahead. It is gonna come down to if he has a, a fantastic bonus card. I mean, he does have three ground nests currently. I have three as well, so we will tie the final end of round goal at least. So it's going to be a close one, but feeling pretty confident. What did he do? He laid eggs. So there we go. This should put us a decent chunk ahead. Oh, only two. Okay. Now we lay our eggs. Yeah, this final round is really going to put us quite a bit ahead. Well, five points. So, five point game before the bonus cards. Let's see if you got one more shot at this. Nothing. Nothing. We're going to say do not draw, and it's still going to draw for us. Is it refuses to not draw? Four, four point game. All right, it's just gonna come down to the bonus card. Very close game. He 
He's only got one, though, so there it is. Safe. Well, my opponent played well. Thanks for watching, gang, and I'll see you next time.